Unless he's got something to stop that. It's lights out. Gorilla Radio. Turn it up. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because we are working on uh, mono green. Always a very popular color when I run it. Um, stompy, stompy, stompy. Yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty direct forward. A lot of people say that your introduction to magic should be mono red because it's basic. It's just point lightning bolt point creatures. But honestly, mono green is pretty simple too. Even though this one's a little bit more complex, this is Big Tox. This is a combination deck that I love doing, and I'm upgrading it with the new Karlov cards, <coughs> taking some of the advantage of some of the newer stuff, and throwing in an extra spicy treat. That's because I get money from Big Big Poison. Big Poison sponsors the channel, so they got they got I got to put a poison deck at least a couple of times a month. Um, shout out to Big Poison, everybody. Before we get down to business here, I need you to do something for me, which is of course tenderly press that like button gently press that subscribe button because if you don't if you don't press that like and subscribe button well you will be attacked by the like and subscribe which is of course a youtube werewolf who will viciously maul you and claw you apart for not liking the channel and subscribing to us today join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash that for all the live streaming goodness we would love to have you there live and in person uh on twitch first time streamer shout out to hobbit creature welcome to the show uh, you can also follow us, stream with us on YouTube. Hit that bell button. You'll notified, be notified when we go live on YouTube as well. Check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, post decks, post memes, anything that you want. Communicate right there on uh, Discord. And of course, this deck and all the other decks that I do uh, are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want to get the, um, if you want to get this deck and everything else that I could have possibly done, uh, Please go to the Aether Hub and you will get a copy of this for yourself. So, what are we talking about when we talk about Big Toxic? <clears throat> well, we got to open up with Bushwhack. That's going to be our best removal right there, which is search your library for a basic land, put it. We want to make sure we can ramp to some of the big boys. And then, of course, target creature you control, fights creature you don't. Now, there's a lot of debate about what we should do for fight cards. Fight cards, of course, are going to be the targeted removal that we only have in green, aside from some of the death touch stuff options we have. Uh, but to directly remove something, we're only going to use a fight card. You're going to say, Jay, how come not Arch Druids? Um, you know, how come uh, not Infectious Bite? How come not Tail Swipe? They're all good, okay? They're all good. I like Arch Druids for the ability to put it down. It's three, it's a little expensive. Uh, Infectious Bite is great for an instant, um, but it's a little bit more expensive, and it doesn't search for land. And then Tail Swipe, of course, main phase is plus one, plus one, and it's a great fight as an instant as well. It's going to be to taste. I'm going with Bushwhack because it is going to help us mana fix and fight something we don't control. But, of course, again, in the sideboard, any of these kind of fight cards, especially something like Infectious Bite, uh, it, they're all going to be fine. And plus that artwork on Infectious Bite is horrible. Look at that. Um... So that's what we're going to start with. Also targeting, doing fight decks with Venerated Rot Priest is such a good combination right here. Uh, one green and one two uh, Phyrexian Druid, Toxic one. Whenever creature you control becomes the target of a spell, opponent gets a poison counter. Um, yeah, they get poisoned out with this one. The interesting thing about this is any spell, so even if you target a spell, you use one of your spells to target a creature. Uh, target one of your creatures they get poison and the more of these you have on the board uh, the more poisony it gets so great great card to put down immediately because it just makes things more deadly puts them on the damage clock and the toxic clock which are both very effective ways of winning the game uh armor scrap gorger yeah we're going a little bit phyrexian right here we do have a decent amount of phyrexians in the green but we also have some other stuff in there too which i rather like uh, he is going to help ramp. He's going to get some of this later stuff out on turn two. He's going to let you place four drops, five drops a little bit earlier, as it were. And he's going to eat stuff out of the graveyard, which messes with the reanimator decks, which is very, very good. Because um, we really do want to mess with the reanimator decks. And of course, uh, and of course, he's just eventually going to turn into his own 3 3. Flourishing Bloomkin. I rather like this one. I rarely ever play him face down, occasionally I do. But he's one of those cards that, okay, well, he starts the game maybe as a 2-2 or a 3-3. 
but by the end of the game we're putting so many extra mana down especially with like invasion of zendikar or stuff like that um we're doing all sorts of other interesting things he just gets stronger and stronger and stronger he's a basic uh, guy and he can help you get more mana but he's just one of those guys that finishes the game by the time we have six seven eight mana down he's big as hell which is nice Gaia's Gift, kind of an essential card. I'm choosing Gaia's Gift as opposed to some of the other protection cards because it is instant and it gives you indestructible, hexproof, trample, and reach. That's a lot of surprises right there for our enemy, okay? That's a lot, a lot of surprise stuff. So again, re hexproof is going to immune to spell, so even if you're trying to do exile, indestructible, stops big board wipes, not exile though. Um, and of course, reach and trample. A surprise trample can finish the game out. If, like I said, if you're tagging with Flourishing Bloomkin and it's like a 9-9 and you're swinging in, they're like, well, I can use my 1-1 one, one to trample, I'll be fine. Boom, sudden trample, you're done. You're dead. Uh, very useful. And, of course, catching stuff in the sky. It's a, it's also a common card. Very cool stuff. Um, royal Treatment, sure. Yeah, why not? Uh, we also get the effect of Rot Priest. If we do target things with Guy's Gift, Rot Priest is a great way to um, get, the, get the damage off on that. Bloat Boy. This guy would be good enough if he was a Proliferate. 4-4 four, four, really i mean a 4-4 four, four trample for three is already a pretty good card like it's not a bad card by itself but the fact that he's toxic one and proliferates on top of that very very useful um just an effective card all around uh so fixes the toxic adds one one counters also guys gift don't forget that it adds a one one counter so if you guys gift and then hit with bloat boy guess what you get to proliferate that counter even higher and higher and higher it's a great combination to play right there um, really good. Big threat on the board. Big damage. Love to see it right there. Here's another Karlov one. Uh, Case of the Trampled Garden, which I rather like. I, I was not really into this card originally, but I'm starting to see uh, where we're going to go with Trample. I didn't like it. It was a little expensive, but as, a, as an uncommon, it's not bad. One green and two. Uh, whenever this case enters the battlefield, put two 1-1 one, one counters among two target creatures you control to solve creatures you control of a greater power and toughness of eight very easy easy to do okay especially with that too you really only need six on the board um one bloomkin and one bloat boy you've solved the case right there trample guard then when it's solved meaning at the beginning of your end step um whenever you attack uh if solved the beginning of your end step uh whenever you attack put a one one counter attacking creature it gains trample so it's going to increase the power of creatures every turn and give a creature that doesn't have trample trample to the end of turn a creature that doesn't have trample but feels like it should of course is going to be the axbane ferox look at this guy he is crazy gruel clans hey yo two green and two four four beast death touch haste ward collect four evidence we have questing beast at home that's this guy right here pretty good i mean questing beast was op because it was from original eldraine and original eldraine had some of the most busted broken cards in the world um so this is more of a normal card um, Death Touch and Haste is really good for a 4-drop, a 4-4 four, four, uh, on green. And Ward is very hard to get right here. And I'm going to tell you the combo play that I do with this Ward. So basically, Ward, you have to collect 4 evidence on him. What does that mean? You have to destroy or exile 4 CMC from your graveyard to even affect him. So you have to, if you want a spell to go off on him, you have to, uh, the, the opponent has to get rid of uh, 4 CMC. Guess what we have? We have Graveyard Hate. If you put Armored Scrap Gorger down and then Axe Bane and just keep eating everything out of their graveyard, this thing is functionally invincible unless they board wipe it. He cannot, you cannot bust that ward until you are getting some enough to kill out of the graveyard. And if you're constantly eating their graveyard, very good combination right there. It's very hard to get rid of. Two Invasion of Zendikars. I actually ran with three and that was way too much. Uh, one green and three. Um, three, three. Battle Siege, enters the battlefield, search your library from the do basic land cards, put them on the battlefield tap. So this will take you on turn four or even turn three, two more mana up. You could get to a six drops on turn four, com combining this with some other ramp. Then, of course, if you attack it for three, which is, you know, decent to do, you get the 4-4 four, four Vigilance and Haste Awaken Skyclave right there. It's it's on the battlefield. It's a land addition to other types. Um, add one mana of any color. It helps you ramp even better. Uh, very, very good stuff right there with the Wake Sky Clip. Again, I put too many. I think three was pushing it. I think two is probably the one we want. Defiler of Vigor. Yeah, we're going to do the Phyrexian thing here. Two green and three, six, six Phyrexian Worm. Trample. 
Additional cost to green permanent use spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost one green less either way. This effect reduces the amount of only green mana that you pay. And then whenever you cast a green permanent, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Guess what's a green permanent? Any creatures or even Casey the Trampled uh, Garden, which is a, an enchantment or um, even Invasion of Zendikar, they all count as green permanents. So you can get these for cheaper. You can pay life for them instead of doing their cost. And every time that you cast a green permanent, you are going to get that 1-1 across the board improvement uh, for everyone, which is really good stuff right there. Um, next is Ogre Kaslam. Uh, two green and uh, two green and three, six, five, Trample, Legendary God. Whenever Ogre Kaslam deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. You may play a creature card and or land card from among them. Uh, put him put him in. So you can get a free card out as long as she just hits with a trample, which is fantastic. And if she dies, she becomes a Temple of Cultivation, which adds green. And of course, you can transfer to bat only if you call 10 or more permanents and only as a sorcery. So she keeps coming back from the Temple of Cultivation right there, which is really useful. Great way to get big monsters on your board. Speaking of big monsters, here comes the closer, man. Here's the finisher. The Tyrannix Rex, who I call the Tyrahine Rex, because it sounds cooler. Three green and four, eight, eight, cannot be countered. Ward, trample, haste, toxic four. Yeah, he's the final toxic surprise. If we've been toxicing them out pretty effectively with Bloat Boy and of course, Venerated Rot Priest, maybe we've gotten down to a point where they feel like, well, I'm not getting toxic too bad. Man, this guy sets the clock back, dude. He is going to trample over with an 8-8. Eight, eight. Trample Ward, Toxic Fort, Phyrexian Dinosaur. He is the closer. I love hitting him with uh, Odre Kaslam because then you get him for free and you get all the other stuff. Um, brutal. Brutal hit. Again, he just wins games. He closes games out. He finishes them. Um, and a lot of times he can either finish them with damage or do that extra little bit of poison to push it over the edge for the double kill right there. That's how we're going to finish it. 22 force, one hidden nursery for the uh, explore ability right there, and one hidden maze for the card draw. Yeah, you're saying maybe I want to run 25 lands? You certainly could. Yeah, it does have 41, uh, it does have 61 creatures. Why don't you ask me, Jay, why do you have 61 creatures? Leave a comment asking me that. Maybe I'll answer you. It is an alchemy deck. It is 100% standard legal. You can play it in either. That's how I'm doing a lot of my decks right now. Sometimes I do alchemy only, sometimes I do standard only, but right now I'm doing the combination of both. You can do either one, very effective. 25 creatures, half of them Phyrexian, secret secret green Phyrexian deck right there. Uh, and a lot of beasts, beasts and Phyrexians. Four instants, four sorceries, two enchantments, two battles, 24 lands all together with a 2.9. Plenty of ramp, I don't feel like that's that bad, 24 for the 29. If you wanna run 25 lands, I'm not gonna be mad at you. I added an Odor Kaslam on the back end. I originally only had one. I feel like she was effective enough to put two in, but there's a decent amount of ramp in this to, to kind of make it effective. Horizontal Gang, here you go, guys. I know y'all Horizontal Gangers like this, man. Um, that's what the spectrum looks like. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. No six drops, believe it or not. And Defiler Vigor makes everything cheaper. This adds uh, mana, and of course, this adds even more mana on top of everything else. Again, the sideboard here, Royal Treatment, Tail Swipe, Infectious Bite. Yes, I'm aware of all these. Arch Druid's Charm, uh, not a bad one. Venom's Brutalizer is the only one I didn't talk about here. He's a good stompy boy for um, for four, actually. Two green and two. Four, four. Toxic three for a Phyrexian Knight. Whenever he enters the battlefield, you may pay one green and one and proliferate. He's a good mid to late game lady, whatever he is. I don't know what kind of monster. It's the crazy green metal monster who's a Phyrexian. Who knows? Um, Toxic 3, not bad. Great to put Trample on, especially because Toxic 3 is very, very, uh, is very, very deadly right there. So consider him um, not a bad one overall. So there we go on the horizontal view for your pleasure. That's what we're looking right, right there. Aggressive green enhanced with the Karloff cards. Uh, and who else is stoked for M uh, uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction? I know I am. I know the green decks that I'm already going to be building. I'm already theory crafting some stuff, so let's get ready for that. Here we go into the games, guy. Let's try to climb out of the bag, uh, out of Plat Hell. Uh, thanks to our sponsor, Big Toxic, Big Poison. All right. 
whammy. How's the sound? How's the picture, everybody, by the way? Let me shut that off. Zig a zig ah. All right, that was a lot of tap, tap, tapping. Okay, so let's go do that. Hey, what's up, shadows of change? It's good to see that you're changing the shadows. I can still see the shadows in my room. You've been on arcane bombardment, isn't that historic mostly? Mostly comes at night, mostly. Okay. Big Mac attack. Hmm. We don't need Hunter's Maze yet. Maca Miller is a. Uh... Fantastic, okay, he did not have whatever it is. Oh, look at that. Plat, plat status. We gotta get out of plat hell, boys, that's the plan. That's the plan plan. This guy's name is Teabagger. Mulligan that, because I got no other to place. That's pretty good. Oh, the Arcane Bombardment. I'm thinking of a Raid Bombardment. Sharp-eyed rookie. The one that repeats, uh, it repeats. The whatchamacallit keeps coming back, keeps repeating. Like you're able to cast spells over and over again. Swing.
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ooh, case of the Forgotten Garden. Push in. Get hit. Green. Take him. Okay. And turn. I don't want to see a sweeper. I don't want to see dastardly deeds or whatever that is. That would suck. One ring as expected. Okay. Curse of the Trampled Garden. solved to wait feels like playing storm and standard yeah true true it is a bit stormy okay put down a land he doesn't have a wipe have some more chicken have some more pie it doesn't matter if wrong or right, just eat it. Just eat it. Counterspell, perhaps? More removal? The gate? Okay. we got him here boys he's gonna burden it up okay unless he gets another ring he'll be all right if he gets a ring but if you don't get a ring a ring or a wipe that's his only salvation right now terminator salvation okay he's putting down that Ring or a wipe, like I said. Ring or a wipe. No, the ring is gonna kill him. The ring is literally gonna kill him. Yep. Killed by the ring. And I proliferated it, which helped. It's shake and bake, and I helped. Hey, S Mr. Kaminsky. Founder of the Kaminsky Method. Still dead to the ring. The burden weighed too heavily on him. I go first. Very nice. What did y'all think of the rat deck today, guys? Y'all mess with that rat deck? Boom. 
probably gonna burn it up. Yep. Boom. Burn him up too. We could we I'm I'm okay eating up all of his burn cards. Especially if he's trying to uh Okay, that's random. We have Questing Beast at home. That's what Aberrant Fox is. A Axbane Ferox. Two blue elementals. Okay. Even more blue elementals. Can't even... Can't even deal with how many elementals it is. It's a little poison. Him. I think this guy might be toast too. He's gonna ring it, ping it, watch where I ping it. Unless he's got something to stop that, it lights out. Gorilla Radio. Turn that shit up. Lights out. Gorilla Radio. Dan, 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 dan. The Jin is in. Jin Rummy. What's up, Austin Jones? How you doing? Um. You can make a Mardu, add War Leaders, Call, and Corpse Explosion, the big creature, kill your grave. That's a pretty interesting combo, Jester of Fools. I'd like to see what you do with that. Oh, I, I mean, I can use it in... Uh, listen, I could run anything. I run, I've run standard decks. The zombies I did the other day was standard. It's not like I'm completely against standard, period. Like, I, I've run other things besides the, the most, you know... Um... I don't like this opener. I need a little something snazzier than that. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm, I'm going to throw down the defiler there. All uh, right. He did not put down... Okay, he's he's a non-main phase land putter downer. That's pretty gangster right there, man. That's, that's a power play, you know? We do that. We do Ratussi. I normally don't do Ratussi out right away because uh, they usually have removal, but... 
If I want to tax him, I'll tax him. I think he's trying to do abs and poison. Yeah, he is. He is. He is trying to do abs and poison, so we're going to fuck him up. We're going to fuck him up real good. Um, target creature you control fights creature you don't. Boom. Yeah, you thought I was going to go on Jawbone Duelist, didn't you? Try to get Jawbone Duelist and you use Skrull for that. Nah, fam. Ain't going to go down like that. I'm put you on the clock. Prosthetic injector. Cool stuff. The Jin is in. The juice is loose. Uh, do we want him to double strike me? Yeah, he can do it. Boom. Um. Boom. Boom. Lights out. Gorilla radio. Turn that up. Play direct removal on it. Ooh, the Glizzy Slayer. Okay. Lizzie. I don't think he has even enough to kill it at X Bane. Acrobatic leap. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Good combo right there, guys. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to do target creature. Oh, I can't even do any of this. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Damn close. Damn close. Ooh, good stuff, man. Good stuff, bro. Damn close. He he got off though. That 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 acrobatic lead saved the shit out of him right there. Ooh, good game though. I, I listen, I'm never mad at a good game, man. Poison versus poison, Abzan versus Raw Green. Hey, I love it. I'm not always angry at the fucking game, guys. I feel like I feel like I Maybe I'm too hard on the game. I just don't like being board wiped 50 times in a row. That's that's my biggest gripe. You know? That's my largest issue right there. Don't forget to like, guys. I see you not liking. Trax, how you doing, man? Jester, what's up? I think I said hi to you already, Jester. Jester's feeling a lot of pep in his step tonight. Gold Kappa, Bugaman, Bugaman, F you Lewis. Oh, wow. This is, um... Uh, fuck. Alright. Yeah. Yodian. Alright, if we can get a mana, we'll be okay. Hornberg. Hornberger. Attacks. War leaders call, I'm sure. Oh, I'm in call. Yeah, that's a good idea to do that. Oh, 
Boros. I'm going to struggle a little bit with Boros, but that's okay. Boom. Rally at the Hornburg. He's not getting his, uh, whatchamacallit here. Yogi and Frontliner. We need the mana. Unfortunately, if we don't hit mana, we're we're not in good shape. That's not bad, actually. We, if we don't hit mana though, we're in bad shape. That's that's what's gonna stop us right here. Is the mana is the mana block. Forty two percent chance. I, I guess I could go with fifty four, but I mean I have mana rocks in it. I, I need to hit that four, especially for Zendikar to launch me. Especially against something that's Boros, this aggressive Boros. Yeah, we're fucked. He just came in too fast. Best case scenario is we we uh, we um, poison them out, and even then it's going to be a big if. too much it's too much boys it's too much just came came at us so goddamn fast you know too much especially against stovepipe like that that's um This control, boo, control, boo. Oh, soldiers, soldiers, guys. We might have a soldier, uh, a soldier thing here going. Yeah, there we go. Good eye, soldiers. All right, so we're gonna do this. Air creature you control fights creature you don't. Got to do that. Gotta have my pops. Boom. Boom. We're gonna swing in. I think I don't got a contingency plan, my dude. I got a contingency plan. Yeah, he did not expect to lose his whole fucking board right away. He did not expect. He's like, fuck me, man. Alright, Warden of the Inner Sky. Let's try that. on him. Boom, boom. There we go. And Filer or Vigor will be really good. Okay. 
patchwork resolute. Okay, that's something. See, hey, hey, oh, way, oh, say boom, boom, boom. All right, there we go. I don't think you can put enough in my way. Yeah, Harbinger. Okay, oh, your Aslan. I'm gonna push in then. You want to get it? Get it. Well, mango. Fantastic. Classification. Three damage, one more poison. Yep. Too much. Too much for soldiers right there. Too much for soldiers. Let's keep it going. Things uh, where we need to go. Um, Esper Control, nothing but board wipes. <clears throat> the uh, the deck that I played last night, I don't know if you saw it. Pl not, I didn't play it, I played against it. It was just miserable. It all, it literally was every board wipe in the game. And not even a meme, it was legit every board wipe in the game. It was, um... All the artifact board wipes. Yeah, Dr. Durden's, Mr. Tyler Durden's over here gets it. That's basically what the dude did. Yep. That's the most fun way to play Magic. It sure is, man. It sure is. Just make sure the other person can play Magic the least. That's your goal. Alright, we're gonna wait on the Tyrahine Rex and try to get off here. Let's do that. I don't know if he should have done that. Okay. 
Kota, how you doing, man? The most fun way to play Magic? Yeah, you know it. Double toughness. Double your toughness. Double your fun. That's the statement of the great men in a double mint gum. Come on, block, bro. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. What you should do, man. Get rid of your trampler. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just try to teach a friend and then something else to try to teach him uh, MTG. So you get a transform it, sacrifice two, put it indestructible. Glory Dominus. You can put it at tap, but it's not going to matter. Nisa send an animus. Oh, he can do double, 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 double. Yeah. He can give it plus seven. But it won't be trample, will it? Or, yeah, it does give it trample. So it would be 22 trample. I have 14. Oh, yeah, he's going to kill the fuck out of me here. Yeah, too slow. Too slow. Too slow, boys. Yeah, Zopandril is a fucking game ender. I've been seeing him more often. He was kind of underlooked, but he, he, the, my man fucking hit. Um, my man fucking hit by one here. Let's suck. By fucking one. I should have fucking got that extra. I should have hit that other guy right there, or maybe just defended. Who knows? I've gotten more Stompy decks playing this Stompy deck than ever, dude. Uh, we have fucking faced one Mono Red tonight and one Azorius. Everything else has been fucking Stompy. Uh, fucking Dinosaurus, which is... I guess that's what it matches green with. Direct removal. No. Really a Skull Dweller. Bro, you know I'm gonna trick you, bro. Come on. What are you what are you thinking? You know I'm gonna trick you. <clears throat> Direct removal, perhaps. Erberg Ripper Derber Derder. Alright. Let's do that. Boom. No. Probably. Okay. Okay. Glizza. Gotta be Glizza. Direct removal. Boom.
pretty poisoned up right here. Double poisoned up on a Tuesday. So you have like 80, 81k gold in your account. I was thinking of buying a ton of OTJ. Not to do that. Wait for Modern Horizon 3. I don't know, man. You like Modern Horizon? Like, you know. Are you super into fucking Modern Horizon? You want to play OTJ? Or you want to play fucking Modern? It's, it's this is gonna be up to you. You know. I don't play Horizon. I don't play fucking Modern. Modern in different, different fucking format. If you want to play Standard, play that. If you don't, play the other thing. That's pretty much the long and short of it. If you want to play Modern, or if you want to play the other thing, you can, uh, you can go for it. It's, it's, it's what you want to play. You want to play Standard and Alchemy, or you want to play Modern? You can use some of the cards in Historic Brawl, yeah, but it's it's not exactly that. It's not precisely Historic uh, Brawl or anything like that. It's it's different. My man's dead regardless. Irregardless, my man's dead. I think you'll be able to play it in um, Timeless and Historic. I'm not 100% sure. I, I, I mean, yeah. What do you want to play? What, what do you normally play? When you open this thing here, what do you normally click on? What, which one of these buttons do you click on? You click Explore, you click Timeless, or you click one of these? OTJ, Modern Horizon. If you play all this shit down here and you're super heavy into the meta, uh, Historic's right on the edge, dude. It's it's both. I don't know if Modern is legal in Historic. I don't play it, so... It's gonna be all reprints anyways, not new cards. It's fucking reprints. I'm more interested in OTJ. It's a new set. It's, it's, it's six of one, half dozen in the other. I'm more interested in OTJ, Modern Horizons, a bunch of reprints from that, that go to the modern meta. If you like that, go for it. There, there's, not, there's not a direct answer is what I'm trying to tell you. There's not... There's not a clear answer. This one is better than that, which I feel like is what what you may be asking me, and that doesn't exist. Yeah, if you're tired of that, then yeah, that's probably where you need to be. Unless you're super invested in the heavy, heavy uh, meta of, uh, you know, the modern format, then... I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Especially if there's like one type of modern deck that you play or historic deck that you play and you just want like three of those cards, you're better off just opening a shitload of OTJ using a couple of the wilds that you're going to get from the wild wheel and craft the ones that you want. So <clears throat> it's really, it's really, it's, it's going to be personal preference. It's not really going to be anything, you know, more than that, so to speak. Um, 
Do, 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 do. So you can do infinite loop. Malamut Exemplar. No blocks. I'll take it. Oof. NH234 just died. Hey, how you doing, Meister Bush Bushino? Meister Bushino Bushio. German Japanese sounding. Meister Bushio. I always remember my cousin Jeremy, my good buddy that I used to hang out with many years ago. He had business cards made up. From like when Vista Print first came out and they gave you like 500 free business cards. And he had said his name. said Jeremy whatever. And uh, had his phone number. And uh, his job title that he put on there. Because you put a job title. It was um, uh, Smooth Operator and Bongmeister. That's what he put down. Pretty good stuff. Did it have subtle off-white coloring? It did. Eggshell with Gothica template. This dude's gonna beat the fuck out of me. This dude is gonna beat me so fucking hard. On the play with fucking with ramp. Oh my god, this dude's gonna kill the shit out of me right here, guys. You don't even understand how bad this dude's gonna beat me. This dude's gonna beat me like I owe money. This dude's gonna beat me like I had sex with his sister. This dude is gonna beat me like Oh wait, hold on. He's going for that. I know he's still gonna beat the fuck out of me. Yeah. Low boy. Boom. Good eye sniper. Boom. Cause he's gonna fiery. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's going for the fiery. He's going for the fiery build here. Yeah, we got some Phyrexians. You know I like them. Oh, shit. What them Phyrexians do? Ah. Boom. 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 Greater power. Another fire inscription. He's really loading up on that inscription right there. So he wants to do six damage when he hits. He's gonna swing in. Delicious volcanic sprite. Delicious and refreshing volcanic sprite. I don't know. I don't know if this guy's gonna beat the fuck out of me. He may not. I think he might fucking punt here.
Yeah. He missed it. I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe this dude fucked it up that bad, man. He, he reached too hard, bro. He reached way too hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bro. The ring, the ring tempted you too much, man. You reached too hard. Oh, pushed it too hard, man. He shouldn't have not done that. He should have just thrown spells down and not gone for the third one, man. He was trying to get fancy with it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. My dude definitely made a mistake there. That, that was a bad mistake. Yeah. You got to learn how to... You got to learn when to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, boys. That's a little too much. All right, guys. We're going to leave it right there for tonight. A nice revisit to some Stompy Poison. Probably one of my favorite kind of decks. Um, the Big Tox. I, it's been a while since I did one like that, and I haven't updated it with the new Karlov cards, which do support. I was surprised that a Ravnica deck had as much good so, uh, Stompy support as possible here. So, yeah, of course, Alchemy and Standard Legal. Um, pretty good, pretty good all around. Not bad at all. Um, fight's your only removal. That's probably the biggest downside. And, um, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's a good, it's a good card. Until next time, guys. Good card. Good deck. And until next time, guys. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.